Hi guys, Princess Honeypot here again. This is Advent Calendar Day 22. And I have got my beautiful ears on from Queen Ursula. Uh, you can see Fozzie here. These are my Muppet Christmas Carol ears. I got these last year. These, there's Fozzie on here and you've got Miss Piggy. And on the back, I think it's Kermit and Tiny Tim and Gonzo and Rizzo on the back. But I'm not going to take them off because they will mess up my hair, actually. Do you know what? I might take them off anyway because I'm not going to be able to put them back on again though, guys, because my hair doesn't go right. So here you go. Right, so you've got Fozzie here. Isn't he cute? <laughs> and some a really pretty background. Like You've got like reefs and garlands and stuff. And then you've got Miss Piggy or Mrs. Cratchit. And then you've got this little dude here. And then on the back, you've got Gonzo, because obviously he's Mr. Dickens. And then we've got Kermit and Tiny Tim and Scrooge. He's a beautiful. And then you've got like an iridescent gold bow, which is really cool. And it's got like gold beading all over the back, which is really cool. And there as well. So that's those. I don't know if I'm going to be able to put them back on without messing my hair up, but I'll have a go. Let's see. What do we reckon? They're right. Okay. Right. I've got a nice cup of hot chocolate today. This is my very, very beautiful brand new Christmas mug, and this is a Yeti. And this came from George Asda. It was gifted to me, and as you can see, he is covered in Christmas lights. Now he wasn't. He was. He is three pounds. But the only way you could actually get this mug was if you spent over a certain amount of money in online on George Asda and then you could add him for three pound. So yeah, so there he is. He is very cool. We have got a blue straw because he's a Yeti. And yeah, as I say, I've got Capri's hot chocolate in there. Yummy. <laughs> right, how is everyone today? I'm feeling a lot more bubbly and brighter. I've actually got dressed again. I'm wearing my Santa um, Slay All Day t-shirt from Primark that was £2.50. Obviously you, don't, you can't go and get that now anyway but so yeah. Um, right so what day are we on? We're on day 22 which is right there just underneath the W. So let's have a little look here. It's going to be sad when all this is over isn't it? <coughs> So who's looking forward to Christmas? I understand all the plans are different and everything, but you can't look forward to Christmas, can you? Right, oh, I think, I think that is a Mrs. Christmas pudding. <laughs> More of this stuff, don't want to be sexist. So yeah, that's a Christmas pudding. Very cool. And what chucky have we got today? Guys, we have got, oh, Yep, okay, we've got, I think it's a reindeer. Yeah, look, you can see his cute little cheeks and big nose. So, say, Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer had a very shiny gone. Yeah, 22. Is right here. In the snowflake. Oh. I'm not able to miss them doors again, guys. Those doors that just want to make you go. <sighs> I broke it. But guess what? I did wear my glasses. So you should be very proud. I only broke the door a tiny bit. Oh, look. And it's the other one of those iridescent clips the same as yesterday so yeah shiny clip red pink the same again yet again still haven't got that blooming um charm bracelet but you don't need to see this again because you kind of saw it yesterday so it's the same right near the end of this guys look there's actually um from this advent calendar 25 days of course you've really got to be wanting to open an advent calendar on christmas day when you're a child aren't you if you were a child, I mean, I'm not a child, but 
you know. Right, did everyone enjoy yesterday's story? Spoiler alert, it was Toy Story Christmas. 22. Oh dear, look what I've done. I shot the straw out and now I've got hot chocolate everywhere. Blimey's. Do you know what? Things always go wrong for me. It's just... I hope I didn't get that down my top. We all right? Yeah, we're all right. Okay. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so what's everyone been up to? When does everyone finish work? We've got a dark blue. What do we reckon? I'm thinking on Frozen. What do you think? Should we go? Here we go. No. Oh, okay. It's another odd one. We've got Dumbo's snowy day. Isn't he cute? Look at Mrs. Jumbo. Her hat looks like a tea cosy. There he is. Look how cute is Dumbo. Oh. <laughs> so Disney Dumbo's snowy day. It's nice to have some different rarer characters, isn't it, for once. I'm going to move my hair out of my eyes. At least I can see the book today. One chilly day, the circus animals were on their way to a new town. But their train, Casey Jr., was struggling to get through the falling snow. His wheels slid on the icy railroad tracks. Finally, Casey Jr. decided it was too dangerous to keep going. The train came to a stop and waited for the snow to pass. So look, there's Casey Jr. You can see all the snow everywhere. And you can see the little birdies here. One's got a blue scarf, green scarf and a red scarf. Reminds me of Huey, Dewey and Louie because of the colours of the scarves. And you can see all the steam. It's very cool. Uh, and you can see Casey Jr's on a very long train. Goes all the way back here. So it's got lots of carriages. It's got one, two, Oh, about six or seven carriages there. And then look, you've got a little mound here with a tiny little green ferns, which actually looks like a tiny little Christmas tree if you look, okay, look closely. And I like that all the steam's coming out. Again, it's the small details, isn't it, guys? Dumbo was happy that the train had stopped. He'd never played in the snow before. He thought it felt very strange as he tried to walk through it. His mother, Mrs Jumbo, encouraged him. You can do it, she said. Soon Dumbo got the hang of walking through the snow. So look, that's the picture on the front again. Oh, look cute. <laughs> do, 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 do. do you know what, guys? Can you see the ears falling off my head? So I'm just going to take those off for a minute. Oh, limes, look at this. Oh, I'm going to have to have messy hair now. <laughs> Never mind. Right. Oh, for goodness me. That is awful. Mm. I apologise now because I don't know what's happened there. But yeah, OK. Let's get on with the story. Anna. All morning, Dumbo and his mother played in the snow. They gathered snowballs together with their trunks. They made snow elephants and even played hide and seek. But as Dumbo and his mother explored, they got further and further away from the train. So look, you can see here. Dumbo's hiding and he's playing with the little birdies. And look, <laughs> here's, um, is that? here's Mrs Jumbo, look. And you can see she's buried in snow. Very cool. Only two little birdies. Oh, no, no. I spotted him. He's over there. Right. What have I done to my hair? Oh, dear. <laughs> right. I think it's going to go a bit fly away now. But look at it. What is going on there? Ugh. Does anybody else get that? When you put ears on, sometimes it makes you... It comes off your head and just doesn't stay on. They just, like, slide up your head. The only time my ears stay on 100% is when my hair's in a ponytail. Suddenly, Dumbo slid down a steep hill. He called after his mother to follow him. But when she reached the bottom of the hill, Mrs Jumbo realised she couldn't climb back up. Dumbo tried to push. He tried to pull. 
but nothing worked. Mrs Jumbo slipped further down the slope towards the sharp edge of a cliff. You will have to fly off and get help, she told Dumbo. So look, can you see him trying to pull his mummy out? And look, you can see Casey Jr. over here, very small in the background. Actually, does anyone else like the Casey Jr. ride at Disneyland Paris? I know it's a kiddie's kiddie ride, but I really like that one. <clears throat> and then you've got tree branches down here. And look, I even like how, look, you can see look, all the details. You've got Dumbo's little footprints in the snow. So that's cool, isn't it? And even his little hat. <laughs> Right. So Dumbo flew off as fast as his ears would take him. As he soared towards the train, the wind began to blow. It pushed harder and harder against him. Finally, Dumbo's ears got so cold he couldn't fly. He worried about his mother while he waited for the wind to pass. Once the wind died down, Dumbo raced to the train. He gathered all the animals together so that they could help. What are we waiting for? Timothy Mouse cried. We've got to save Mrs Jumbo. Dumbo led his friends back to the cliff. So look, there goes Dumbo flying. Look, he's lost his hat. There he goes, flying on. He's going to tell the animals all about it. Look, you can see a giraffe here. And there he is. Down here, look, he's got all cold, bless him. Oh, poor little Dumbo. Icy and cold. It's going to get pneumonia and hypothermia if he stays down there. By the time they found Mrs Jumbo, the windstorm had pushed her even closer to the cliff's edge. The animals knew they had to think of something fast. Oh dear, worried the giraffe. How can we get help? How can we get down there to help? Timothy snapped his fingers. He had an idea. Everybody line up, he shouted. He ordered the animals to grab one another's tails. At the front of the line, the ostrich leaned over the cliff to take hold of Mrs Jumbo's trunk. One, two, three, pull, yelled Timothy. <laughs> so look, there's Mrs Jumbo. There's all the animals up here. I see another elephant here, look. And then you've got Timothy shouting. You can see him shouting. And then you've got Dumbo and a hippopotamus. Little birdie again. Isn't Timothy cute? More birds over there. Birds everywhere. Oh, that's the giraffe look bending her neck. I was wondering, what is that? And then I realised, <clears throat> and I can't see what she's standing next to. I think there's a lion there and a... Don't know what the other thing is. Can't make it out. Anyone know what that is? Some sort of little dude. <clears throat> the animals worked together, huffing and puffing, pulling and stretching, until Mrs Jumbo had made it safely to the top of the cliff. But suddenly, there was a loud crack. The cliff slide gave way, and the animals tumbled down. Watch out, yelled the hippo. Yikes, cried the monkey. Oh, he must be a monkey. <laughs> uh uh, said the giraffe. Help, shouted the bear. Oh dear, look. It's the lion and the giraffe, and you can see all the animals. You've got the monkey here. And yeah, can't make them out, but there's all the other animals. <laughs> and obviously, the giraffe is holding them. And you've got the hippo, and you can see them all tumbling down. There's Dumbo, monkeys. Hippopotamus, giraffe, ostrich. And they all go down the cliff. Oh dear. All of the animals tumbled together and rolled down the hill. Before long, they had become a giant snowball. How do you stop this thing? called Timothy as they zoomed along. The snowball gathered speed until... My goodness, look, it all turned into a big snowball. And look, the, the ostrich and the monkey and the bear. Oh, it's a bear. Okay. Got red and yellow stars here. And there's the elephant's bottom. You can tell by the tail. 
It looks like a big cloud, big snowy snow drift, doesn't it? And then all the animals are in here. So you've got Dumbo and monkeys and lions and bears and giraffes and ostriches and oh, don't know what else is in there. <laughs> I like his face, her face. Yeah, definitely a girl because look at her eyelashes. <clears throat> and the bear's cute and all with the bottom. Although he doesn't look much like a bear, I have to say. And as you can see, there's a little ostrich foot. I think that would be me, the monkey. I think I would be like that by now. <laughs> Crash, bang, boom, oof. The animal snowball hit the bottom of the hill and broke apart. Is everyone okay? Timothy asked as he straightened his hat. Luckily, everyone was fine. Just a little dizzy. <laughs> From their unexpected snow road. Why does it say snow road? What's a snow road? It definitely... That says snow road, and I don't know what that means. I think it should be snow ride, but it's road. Okay, they made a mistake. All the animals began walking back to the train. Walking wasn't nearly as fast as riding a snowball, but it was a lot less scary. So look, there's the big clump of animals. Everyone's here. <laughs> Poor ostrich, look at her. <laughs> and then that looks like, is that the bear? Why does he look like a seal there? Yeah, very cool. I like the little lion, he's nice. Now, now you've got red, green and blue stars. I guess they're all seeing stars from the big tumble. That night, Mrs Jumbo gave Dumbo a warm bath. Thank you for flying to find help today, she said to her son. Dumbo smiled and blew a trunk full of water over his head. Now, I'm not going to impersonate that. <laughs> hey, don't forget about me, said Timothy from his teacup bath. I helped too. Mrs Jumbo nodded. You certainly did. Thank you. Oh, gee, said Timothy. It was nothing. Nothing at all. So look, there's Dumbo in the bath. You can see the bucket here, because I think she's got to tip that over his head. Mrs Jumbo and her tea cosy hat. <laughs> then you've got Timothy in a teacup wonder if it's chipped and they can see his clothes all wrapped round. Oh, there he is, little Timothy, buck tooth, cute. And that's a really pretty picture of Mrs Jumbo. And I love Dumbo in there. I've actually got a little ornament. Um, I think it was an UNESCO one and it's Dumbo in the bath and it looks just like that. It's really cute. Uh, that's up on my shelf. Are they? I don't know what that is either. It's like angel wings. Right, I can't turn the page, guys. <laughs> oh, okay, that is the end of the story. They end so strange, don't they? Because you've got two pages of snowflakes now and then another snowflakes. So yeah, that was Disney Dumbo's Snowy Day. That was a very cute story, wasn't it? Anyway, I apologise again for the state of my hair. Um, sillies. <laughs> I'm going to have to go sort this out in a minute because I don't know what's happened here. Let's just take the glasses off. See if we can get rid of this mess. But as you can see, look, my hair's gone all fly away, which is very annoying. Um, I'm going to have some hot chocolate. And what else was I going to say? I can't remember now. Yeah, so... um. I've also just filmed another video today. I filmed my um, Christmas ornament um, video. That's just gone up. Um, that will be the, the last video that's on my channel. So if you're interested in that. I hope everyone's doing okay in this strange time at the moment. And everyone's going to have as nice Christmas as possible. I'm sure you all will. As I say, yesterday, like, we've got Zoom and we've got messenger video calls and all that type of stuff now so it's nothing like it used to be thank goodness and yeah so as i say there's going to be stuff on my instagram um in the next couple of days so if you'd like to follow me on that that's 30 bluebell 30 and yeah please like and subscribe this video give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and i will see you all tomorrow for advent calendar 
day 23. Lots of love, guys.